All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can be so bad at your job that you get your entire family killed. It's Headliner. We pretty much caused war over Novastan, so now it's time to burn down Galaxia. More sadness, damn it. Destroying lives is a lot like baking a cake. You mix a bunch of sugar with bad choices. You wait for it to rise. The sadness, that is, to rise. And the frosting is you getting to swish a glass of wine around in your hand while looking down from your penthouse at everyone else beating the hell out of one another in the streets. Obviously, this is a game where you have to choose different things to go into the newspaper in hopes to make the world a better place. That's not going to happen. We're here to make money, which means we have to publish the most ridiculous crap we can. I was thinking about what name to put here, and then I just realized that the most obvious name is also the most meta name. You guessed it. We're gonna be Florida Man. This is extra spectacular because for the first time ever, instead of people making money off of Florida Man using him in news articles, Florida Man is going to make money off of everyone else. There's only one person that could remain married to Florida Man, and that's Karen. Karen can marry Florida Man and stay that way because Florida Man doesn't have a manager. I don't need a tutorial to know how to ruin lives. I feel like it's somewhat hypocritical that a newspaper place is telling me that providing false information is punishable under a Galixian Denizen Safety Act, whatever the hell. You think your act is gonna save you? Do not fill. Kiss my act. Oh, I just noticed I got a daughter too, completely flew under the radar. Congratulations, daughter. You should feel very honored. Your name is Spleens. Good afternoon, Florida man. Good afternoon, boss. I just noticed that your head is half the size of your entire torso. I don't have a problem with that. Just mentioning it. Good luck today, honey. XOXO Karen. Lies. Karen would never say this. She paid someone else to write this post-it note. I know it. Publish whatever gets our readers riveted. Oh, and you're up for a promotion. If you can get our ratings up, so make it juicy. I like the way you think. See how everyone is very cordially interacting with each other outside of my window? This is not good enough. I see a distinct lack of pipes in people's hands. Nothing is on fire. All of these things make for a sad gray. All right, I've got a degree in journalism. It was totally worth going to college for. Let's do this. Festival is coming. Here's a recap of how Galixia became the first nation with a majority genetically modified population. Okay, whatever, that's not that bad. Purists, an economic burden as the unmodified minority dwindles to a meager 7%. Studies once again show their job performance lags behind. Is it ethical to continue offering them the same benefits and tag exemptions as the rest of the population? Are regular citizens burdening an unfair cost? They absolutely are. This is the second article that I've picked up and already we're creating like a class divide. This is absolutely what we wanna see. Unrest at our doorstep. Lyris officials express concerns over the amassing of troops close to the Eastern border will not succumb to provocation. Galaxia cannot stand silent while our neighbor is threatened. Actually we can, because I'm the goddamn headliner. Here's a primer on how embryo modification can affect your children. The more modification, the better, I always say. I like where this is going. Purest marriage discrimination. All Gary Golden wanted to do was wed his sweetheart, but a local minister refused to perform the ceremony on the basis of Gary's unmodified status. Jesus. Yeah, no one needs to know about this hardship. On the way home, we get to listen to the various things that we've caused in this planet. The show's about the purest job yeah, performance. <laughs> Ah, uh, if you were born a normal human being, I'm gonna make it so everyone hates you. You cannot tell my parents, okay, you know they'd flip, cause I'm an unmodded? Yeah, I've heard. I didn't get to see the rest. Are you dating an unmodified person? Soon you're gonna be dating them through bars. Purest vermin work here? <laughs> Someone put a sign up in front of the grocery store. Not shopping here anymore. The owner is unmodified. Goddamn deadbeats. I read on the news they can't even do a job right. <laughs> Yay, we're back home. What the hell? Which one's my- oh, okay, I was about to ask which one's my wife and which one's my daughter. They both have fantastic complexions, so I couldn't tell. Also, do we have a picture of the Mona Lisa in our house? Hi, Dad. Hello, Spleens. How was school today? I had this cranky woman today 
kept saying I gave her the wrong pills. We're gonna be a jackass to everyone. I've already decided this. So if there's a bad choice for our wife and or our child, we're gonna pick it. Maybe you made a mistake. No way, I've been working at the pharmacy for half a decade. I know it inside out. And <laughs> I've been working at journalism for half a decade and look at where it's gotten me. God, people can be such... <laughs> You can either slick language or amen. I'm sorry, I gotta give it to her. I like how the mom has nothing to say about that. She's like, eh. So this country is mostly just genetic modification, class division, and pill popping. This is gonna make my job really easy. My boss is really laid back too. Been letting me take more breaks, having a hard time getting through the day. Same stuff as the past few months, few hours in and my energy crashes. Sometimes there's headaches and nausea. Aren't the painkillers helping? Yeah, a bit. Thank God for the employee discounts, but I feel like it's getting worse. I'm sure it'll pass. It's either take it easy or I'm sure it'll pass. Stop complaining. We all get headaches. I caught the pseudoscience piece about the unmodified being an economic burden. I can't believe you work for that tabloid. Actually, I'm the one that made that decision. It's your paper, Dad. Can't you just publish whatever I want? Yeah, pretty much. Before I forget, can you pick up dog food on the way back tomorrow, Florida man? Thanks. Yeah, if I can make it past all the gators. Hello, Florida man. Great response at your publication yesterday. I'm glad we're all seeing eye to eye on this. You picked a strong pro mod and angle. Let's stick to that. You got it. Fun family times are ahead, but the pro purist organization Clean Slate has its misgivings. Will this year's event be just another example of unmodified discrimination? No one's going to know. Purist workers benefit businesses or purist workers hurt businesses? I think you know which one's going to get chosen. I like how this is an actual news article. Is your grocer a filthy unmodified? <laughs> Who would write that as a title? I mean, I would, but I would never get hired by a real newspaper. <laughs> Boycott shoddy workmanship and those who do not support our societal values. Here's a list of local grocers refusing to modify their children. I'll bet that scumbag that was getting his, his business tagged is one of these. All right, how's it going out here? Liars, like me or the, or the non-believers. Wow. Now it's not only purist vermin work here, but purist vermin live here. This is going to get bombed, isn't it? It's only a matter of time before this building gets Molotov cocktailed. Uh, so, I was gonna head toward the grocery store to buy dog food, and I can't help but notice that there's a big ass demonstration sitting right outside of my grocery. Look, I'm just here to buy dog food. No business for the unmodified. <laughs> oh, I actually can't go in again <laughs> because of this here. I had another bad fainting spell today. I have a feeling my wife is going to die. So we either have time to see a doctor or what do you think it is? I think I might be able to get this woman killed. Oh, my wife is modded. What about you, dad? Uh, I was modified at birth, so I'm fine. Your tabloid is standing up for the modified. Yep, for a modified nation. That makes me wonder, what if I were unmodified? Would you still marry me, Florida man? Of course I would have to reconsider. Oh God. Like you can pick someone up hotter than me. Touche, Karen. Can you pick up dinner tomorrow? I'll be coming home late. I mean, I guess unless dinner is bought over at the purist store, in which case it'll probably be burned to the ground. So I make no promises. We need more policing or we don't need more policing. I would appreciate it if there was less police because then that means there's going to be more beatings. So we had a celebrity that's coming to our festival. Apparently she might be a purist. How dare she? Oh, I actually can buy dinner tonight. Galixia for Galixians. Close the border. <laughs> oh God. The curfew is getting voted down. Damn it, my son goes out way too much. Maybe you should parent your kid better. Oh. Hey, Florida man. I'm starving. What did you get? Mm, model witches. Where's our daughter? Oh my God, I love you. I didn't know you like modded sandwiches that much. I don't think spleen should go to the festival. It might not be safe. You're right. She should stay home. That's not the correct answer. You worry too much. She should have fun. My wife keeps bringing up this pottery thing because she wants to take her mind off of like, you know, her constant pain and fatigue. And I keep shooting her down. She's like, gotta finish up those festive plates. We already have enough plates. Yeah, what's the point? Can barely focus with this headache. Wouldn't want you to do something you enjoy. 
Florida man, we're doing superb. Whatever your method is, keep at it. My method is chaos. That is my method. Clearly, that is exactly what the newspaper wants. Vandalism shows need for more security. Purist vermin get out and modded tyranny. Hell no, we're not getting rid of this. Your ass must be crazy. Okay, well, change from liars to muckrakers. We also have a security Roomba. <laughs> Trolling the streets. What the hell is this? Oh, is that a Molotov cocktail? Hold on. I want to come after him <laughs> Hey, ho purist phobia has got to go. Let us marry. Okay. All right, everything's going well. No one's dead yet. Hey, Florida man Did you see all the protesters on the way home? Yes, it was like a work of art My poor wife is like my boss is getting fed up with all my medical problems He's really been patient with my health issues, but I think it's straining his business The answers are how are you feeling or he's got to remain profitable BAM She is taking all of these answers really well We're happy to announce that in light of our growing ratings We'll soon be able to expand our health care benefits. Oh, hey, my wife's gonna live because I'm a dick People are dying in Lyris or Lyris is profitable. Sounds like Lyris is profitable that guy with his bandana and his Molotov cocktail is still running from the police. That dude's been running for two days straight. What is this? I gotta halt what? I gotta pick up genetically modified potatoes. Present your papers, Denizen. Do you know who I am? Very well. You may pass. Thank you. I have MRS stage two. What the hell does that mean? My body's rejecting my mods. Sees it like cancer. Does your job still offer benefits? It started offering them, but what happens if I answer no? Florida man, filthy modded evangelist. Your lies and deception are ruining Galixia. Stop before it's too late. Hold on, can I negative stamp this? Damn it. Uh, yeah, modify your embryos. I don't really care about Tima. She doesn't have to sing because she's a purist. All right, good to see the guy is still running from the police. That's like three days now. My God, it's like a Starbucks. There's a friggin' protest across the street from a protest. Wow, Tina actually withdrew. <laughs> Sorry, Tiva. Good news for us, though. Propaganda machine. Yes, we are. I've seen some rioters gearing up. Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone loves a good riot. There's the protesters. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, boy. <gasps> modified. Oh my God, everyone's burning. <laughs> <laughs> There's body parts everywhere. That was only a matter of time. Oh my god, they are literally beating the shit out of people in the streets. They're beating them. There we go. Let's get a nice big riot right in the middle. I'm gonna walk all over this blood. Are they beating the security drones? Leave that poor drone alone. What do you do to you? Hi, honey. Hey, Florida man. You're home early. Did you stop by the festival? How's it looking? Just a little rioting. You know how it is. I saw people setting trash cans on fire. Yeah, what's the big deal? Hey, Spleens is still out. I haven't heard from her in a while. Let me try calling her. She's probably on fire. She's not picking up. Uh, yeah, she might actually be on fire. <laughs> what if she's in trouble? She'll be fine. We're a little worried. We're leaving a message on Spleens' phone. So either stay safe or have fun. Have fun, Spleens. I felt so dumb. How could you lie to me about your benefits? It seemed to be the worst answer at the time. I misunderstood. Seriously? You knew I was getting sick and it was important. Ah, you're overthinking it. Sorry, didn't mean to snap. It's not your fault. It's me. <laughs> I'm the jackass. Oh, my daughter's back. Florida man. We're the de facto voice of Galixia. Everyone's talking about Gal Media. I'll bet. Riots and looting spread widely across Galixia with hooligans turning on their own community. The worst urban violence event Galixia's living memory has casualties climbing to almost a hundred. One second I'm eating a churro, the next I'm crawling on the ground looking for my kids. No one needs to know about this. Refugees living a nightmare, yeah no one needs to know about that. This is your last warning, leave purists alone. You should have put this in. Before this article, we would like to offer you the position of regional headliner. Cool. Look at all the chalk outlines on the ground. This is where all the dead people were. Oh my god, it is everywhere. Hey guys. Uh, how's it going? Oh boy. Hey, aren't you the headliner? We don't like what you say about purists. Didn't you get our cordial letters? Wait a second, is this just gonna be a regular beating or a fatal beat? 
That sound effect usually means it was a fatal beating. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm just, that's what, like, a little beating never hurt anyone. Where's the damn police when you need it? I didn't actually have the police have any kind of increased presence. So technically I created this environment myself. Hey honey, I was unable to get the, oh. Florida man? Oh, I'm bleeding out a lot now. Florida man. I like how no one tried to help me. Everyone was just like, wow, it'd be great if the police were here. City turned to chaos. Purists were persecuted. Daughter went to college. Wife managed her illness and I was killed. <laughs> what the hell? Being a jerk turned in on itself. My family worked out, they, they all got to live fantastic lives, and I'm the one that died. What's funny is, this is entirely appropriate. My character, Florida Man, died as he lived. <laughs> like a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Headliner. <laughs> Until next time, stay foxy and much love.